Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, the benefits of walking. Uh, uh, the Walk with the Doc website has a, a, a neat list. It's actually a hundred things uh, and I'm not going to go over a hundred things today. So I've just picked a, a few, like four or five of them and most of them are related to cardiovascular disease, which is, uh, you know, my area of uh, uh, focus. Uh, so, and, and, and you probably know many of these things, but what we recommend uh, and the general recommendation is to get 150 minutes of brisk walking a, uh, a week. So that's uh, 30 minutes five times a week. Uh, and, and brisk doesn't mean vigorous, okay? So brisk just means getting out and maybe about three miles an hour, a, a mile and 20 minutes. Uh, and it's just enough to get your heart rate up. Uh, and, 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 and that's where you get the, uh, all the benefits, the cardiovascular benefits and all the other things that uh, we want to talk about. Uh, if you want to do vigorous exercise, which would be like running or jogging, they recommend 75 minutes a week. Okay, so, so less time and a little bit more intense. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, you know, we don't, I don't, I don't really push running because, I mean, it's a, a, a nice vigorous walk is enjoyable. You can actually enjoy your surroundings uh, and uh, uh, it's a little easier to achieve. And also, you can break up your walking into segments. You don't have to do it all at once. You can break it up into 10 minute segments. So if you don't have 30 minutes in a day, you can do uh, three 10 minute things. So if you have a lunch break, you've eaten lunch, then go for a 10 minute walk uh, and do the same thing uh, in the evening or you can do 20 minutes in the evening or something like that. Okay, so uh, some of the benefits, I'll just talk to you about a few of them. Uh, one of them is, a, is that it can lower your cholesterol, getting your heart rate up to about, you know, between 110 and 130, depending on your age and, and your ability. Uh, can actually, over a couple of months, lower your cholesterol a few points. Related to that, there are two types of uh, cholesterols we talk about. You might remember the HDL and the LDL. So it not only lowers your LDL, which is the bad cholesterol, it can also elevate your HDL, which is the good cholesterol. Okay, something to keep in mind. Something very simple like walking uh, without any changes in your diet. So then if you change your diet uh, uh, to something more, you know, appropriate, getting rid of the meat and, uh, and dairy, cheese, eggs, and the processed foods that all have cholesterol, uh, you can dramatically affect your cholesterol. So it's also a wonderful way to reduce your blood pressure. Uh, and uh, it, you can reduce uh, good brisk walking 150 minutes a week um, over two to three months can lower your blood pressure as much as uh, some blood pressure pills. And that's amazing. So you don't have to take the pills. You don't have the side effects. You don't have to worry about taking them. And blood pressure pills are just managing your uh, hypertension. It's not making it go away. Whereas exercise is actually truly getting your high blood pressure to go away. Um, and uh, talking about vigorous exercise, when I used to be a really avid runner, uh, my blood pressure would be 90 over 60, uh, and which is okay as long as you're not symptomatic. Some people think that's too low, but no, the lower the better because that's what your, your heart is beating against. Um, and uh, uh, when I don't run, it's 120 over 80. So it, running r regularly, uh, does have a, a tremendous impact on my blood pressure. It can reduce your stroke risk. All of these are interrelated, by the way, and these are all cardiovascular benefits. Um, it, it also can imp uh, improve your diabetes. So by improving your diabetes and improving your hypertension and lowering your cholesterol, all of these cardiovascular diseases like stroke and uh, uh, heart attacks are lessened because those are risk factors for those diseases. Uh, we talk about heart attacks and strokes, but also what I treat is the peripheral circulation for the legs, uh, and it can improve your circulation as well. So I think we'll stop with that, just a short five minute ditty. Do you have any questions about that? Uh, you can either ask now or catch me when we're walking. All right, you, re you guys ready to go? Yeah. All right. <laughs>